What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how you can create this sick low shutter effect inside of Premiere Pro. Let's go! What's up guys, my name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick low shutter effect inside of Premiere Pro. Today, shout out to 11%.net, we're going to be using our all new low shutter preset pack designed for Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's super easy to use, it's incredibly fun and simple, and plus it comes with over 30 plus low shutter looks. But don't worry, for those of you without a high budget, we are going to be teaching you guys how you create these low shutter looks entirely from scratch. But before we get started, if you're looking to spice up your music video effects and take your videos to the next level, we'll definitely make sure to check out our store 11%.net while we also just dropped our new low shutter preset pack we also have a bunch of other crazy preset packs that you can literally use to just drag and drop and create some insane effects for your videos we have preset packs ranging from title card presets all the way to paint animation effects they're super fun simple and easy to use and they'll seriously help you save a lot of time it's one of the best investments any video editor can ever make but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial all right guys so now that we're inside of premiere pro the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to our effects and presets and we are going to apply, you guessed it, our new 11% low shutter speed preset pack. Absolutely insane right here. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to this pack. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create this low shutter speed effect from scratch in just a minute. But really quickly, I do want to show you this new preset pack that we just dropped. It's absolutely insane. This pack I've been working on for months right now basically everything that we did in this tutorial we have a preset pack for so i'm just going to show you guys real quick i'm going to come over here to my effects and you see in my preset panel right here i have this nice little folder 11 percent low shutter effects wow what's in here Oh, if you open it up, three new folders. We have black and white low shutter, flash low shutter, and standard shutter. And you can see in here we have over 30 low and you can see in here we have over 30 low shutter effects that you can literally just drag and drop to your footage. So basically all this work that we did right here, I'm gonna show you in this next clip. Um, let's go ahead and drag 11% low shutter five. Boom, there you go, applied. The low shutter effect has already been applied. We didn't have to do any of the work and it just saves us all that time we spent creating it. And also you can see right here, we have a bunch of other crazy like effects. So like right here, we have this blue glow. I love this one, we have glow. And of course, if they're just too much, you can just go ahead and mess around with stuff like the exposure to create you know stuff that fits your clip. But there's really just so many different presets that you can just mess around with and just have fun. And this preset pack honestly just saves me so much time. I definitely recommend you checking it out, 11%.net. With you guys' support and purchasing this pack, so it really just helps support me, keep me going so I can keep making free tutorials like this for you guys on YouTube to enjoy and just help you spice up your music videos and take your editing effects to the next level. All the effects that we're going to be doing in this video, they're already pre-made for you and all you literally have to do is just drag and drop these onto your clips right here. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come over to our effects panel and we are going to search for the echo effect. You guessed it, this is pretty much the meat and potatoes of this entire effect. Taking this echo effect and dragging it to our first front layer clip. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna increase the number of echoes to about five or six. It really depends on you know what you prefer, what your clip prefers. And you can see already everything is just super bright. We can't even tell what's going on in our clip anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and change my echo operator to screen. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my decay to 0.8, there you go. So already off the bat, we have a sick effect, but now it's time to go ahead and spice this up even more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my effects and presets and I'm gonna search for posterize time. Now this posterize time effect is pretty much also the meat and potatoes, <laughs> another big important part. If the echo is the meat, then this is the potatoes. Excuse my analogy. We're going to take this posterized time and we're going to decrease the frame rate to something about 10 frames. I think 10 for even five frames, you can totally do that. It's totally up to you in your edit. And honestly, this is a low shutter speed effect in itself. Like this could be it. But because at 11%, we always do the 100% and the 111% or the, the extra 11% lives. Anyways, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be going here to our effects and we're gonna be searching for another effect and we're gonna search for the glow. Now this one, I really think this is totally stylistic. So I'm gonna apply this glow effect right here on top you can see it definitely just brighten things up a bit but don't worry we're going to mess around with things so i'm basically just going to increase the radius like a lot something like 100 109 110 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease our brightness just a tad bit because our scene right here is a bit bright and now you can see if we play this out we have a sick echo effect with some nice glow going on right here and it's and it's honestly starting to look pretty good if you ask me now the shutter speed effect is really entirely dependent on your video and that's why i like to say and these tutorials never copy me down to the exactly nitty-gritty details of what i'm doing you know just mess around with it do stuff to your liking and create the effect to your own style because you know we all have different tastes we all have different videos and the effects are going to work for all 
all of us in a different way. So you can either mess around with the starting intensity, which is something I also like to do. So sometimes I'll even change that to 0.9 and that basically just makes the starting, yeah, the starting intensities less bright and we have a little bit more echo going on right here. And you can also, of course, mess around with the echo operator. Sometimes I like to go to maximum or minimum and that creates just different looks as well. Minimum is a really, really trippy one, but screen is usually my go-to. The last effect that we're actually going to apply, which I actually should have applied before the glow, but you'll see, we're going to be adding some noise. We're going to be adding some nice noise to create a nice little film grain emulation. Now you're going to see, once you apply it immediately, it's going to say, oh, this effect requires GPU acceleration, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically because I applied this after I applied the VR glow. So what you can basically do is just drag this below the VR glow and boom, there you go. Now it works. But what you're going to do is you're going to come to your noise. I'm going to turn off use color noise because that's just ugly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up our noise to something about like 17%. And boom, voila, there we go, there we have it. We have some nice, sick film grain on top of our echo effect and already off the bat, that's just a sick low shutter effect. Now, like I said, of course, mess around with it, create a bunch of different variations. It's totally up to your creative control. But without further ado, here is the final result. If you guys made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any value or help from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free, so really, it means the world. And once again, if you're interested in copying that new low shutter preset pack, definitely make sure to check out the link in the description at 11percent.net. We have a bunch of other crazy preset packs there, and they're all super easy and fun to use. So if you're definitely interested in saving yourself some time while editing and also creating some dope effects, that's how you guys support me and keep me going so I can keep making free tutorials like this on YouTube for you guys. And also, so if you'd be interested in receiving exclusive tutorials, early access to our videos, and also exclusive discounts and preset packs at our store 11percent.net, definitely make sure to check out joining our channel at the button below. We have three super low cost tiers, which all provide you with unique dope benefits that you can get from this channel. You can join our channel at the button below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.